think she's here. Her phone is muted. So, Lori? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Well, I can. I just unmuted you. Yes. Okay. Cheryl Glorick here. Chad King. Here. Ray Costain. And Dan Miller. I know Dan's here. Okay, thank you, Cheryl. Um, first, let me start the, uh, the meeting off by advising that we had executive sessions uh, held by Zoom on Thursday, May 7th, 2020 at six o'clock. Uh, and on May, Monday, May 11th, 2020 at 5.30 p.m. to discuss personnel issues. Okay, hi, um, I, there are a number of participants in the, uh, in the box here. Do we have anybody that is registered to speak? Cheryl, is anybody registered? No, no there's do none. Any, do we have any comments from the floor at all? Uh, I'd like to say hello. <laughs> it's Pat DeBlasio here. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. Okay. So I wanted to, uh, Mr. President, I wanted to uh, to thank you and uh, uh, wanted to uh, thank Lori Collins. Uh, while uh, there have been many times when I have uh, felt that uh, that she could have done things slightly differently, uh, I cannot think of any time when I didn't feel that she cared about our our community and that our community was not foremost in her mind. So I wanted to thank her for her dedicated service and uh, just express my appreciation for that. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You're welcome. Uh, any other comments from the floor? Going once, going twice. Okay, we'll move on with business. Um, I need a motion to approve the April 13th, 2020 regular meeting minutes as submitted. So moved. Bruce, do I have a second? I'll second it, Mrs. BJ. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the May 2020 bill list. I'll move. Nick seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the May 15th, 22nd, 29th, and June 5th, 2020 payrolls. Bruce motions. Do I have a second? Second. Joe Colosimo seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2020-05, confirming that Bridgeville Borough is formally requesting GEDTF grants funds from the Redevelopment Authority of Allegheny County, the RAAC, Iraq, for the Pollutant Reduction Plan Implementation Project in the amount of $137,500. As I'm sorry, who was that? Me. Bruce? Yeah. Bruce in the second. I think Nino did. Okay, second by Nino. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2020 06, confirming that Bridgeville Borough is formally requesting GEDTF grant funds from the Redevelopment Authority of Allegheny County for the Werner Avenue retaining wall project in the amount of $310,000. I have a motion. I shall move. Nino, do I have a second? Nick seconds. Nick second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2020-07 confirming that Bridgeville Borough is formally requesting GTRP, Greenways, Trails, and Recreation Program, grant funds from the Commonwealth Financing Authority to be used for Chartier's Park improvement in the amounts of $250,000. Joe Colosimo moved. Joe Colosimo moved. 
I'll second. I'm sorry, Joe, do you have a comment? No, I just said I moved the pack. Oh, okay. Okay, we got it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to amend the agreement between Bridgeville Borough and Cargill Incorporated to extend the time to meet the minimum 80% purchase requirement for the initial term of the existing contract, December 31st, 2020. I'll move. Joe Nick will second. And Nick second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to authorize to advertise an ordinance of the borough of Bridgeville relative to the establishment and maintenance of police employees, pension, annuity, insurance, and benefit fund or funds to amend certain provisions of the pension plan or program applicable to the police employees of the borough. Bruce motions. I second Nino. Bruce and Nino, don't, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to advertise for bid contract number 20-W01 to repair the Maple Street retaining wall. Bruce motion. <laughs> Bruce, a motion, I have a second? BJ, yes. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to execute a separation agreement between Bridgeville Borough and Lori Collins, effective May 31st, 2020. So moved, Bill, BJ. Thank you, do I have a second? I second with regret it. Second by Nino. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to execute a hiring resolution to hire Joe Cower as borough manager, effective July 27, 2020. So moved, Bill. This is BJ. Second, Second Nino. Um, before, before I proceed, this was a, a, uh, a new action item added to the, um, the agenda, so I do need to open the floor up for any public comment. Any public comment? Uh, I, Bill, well, I'd like to thank the administrative uh, committee for doing their due diligence in regards to to uh, getting together with the interviews and going through the whole process. Um, and uh, excited for the future, but also sad that uh, Lori's leaving. Great, Joe. Thank you very much. Is there any other public comment? Uh, yes. Uh, go ahead, Pat. It's Pat de Blasio here, and uh, I think uh, it will be very nice uh, to have uh, oh. Joe Cower as uh, as manager. Uh, you know, he uh, he's been working hard in Ambridge, and I think uh, that uh, that what he is trying to do and uh, what he has accomplished in Ambridge, uh, uh, he can uh, he can do a, a good job mm. here in Bridgeville as well. But I would remind council. But at the end of the day, it is council and our community that improves itself. Thank you, Pat. Appreciate that. So we have a motion on the floor and it has been seconded. Uh, I would like to do a roll call vote on this. Nick Krzyzewski. Aye. Joe Colosimo. Yes. Bill Henderson. Yes. Joe Verducci. Yes. Anna Petricelli. Yes. Bruce Gellarducci. Yes. Virginia Schneider. Yes. Thank you. Motion passes. I need a motion to accept and pay any commission due the April 2020 real estate tax collector's report. I'll move. Joe Verducci. Bruce will second. And Bruce, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to accept the April 2020 police report. So moved. Bruce? Nick seconds. And Nick second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Opposed? No, I'm sorry? You skipped the treasurer report. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's, let's authorize a police report. Any, anyone opposed to the police report? Motion passes. Uh, back to number 12. A motion to accept the March 2020 treasurer's report. I'll move. Well, second. second. <laughs> BJ seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Okay, on the committee reports. Uh, administration, BJ Bott. Um, thank you, Mr. President. As you know, the committee has been very busy vetting and several applicants for the borough manager position. So that's been pretty time consuming over the last five or six weeks. Um, and in addition to that, we continue to monitor the uh, staffing needs at the borough building, making sure that the workplace is safe and that the uh, compliance with the CDC guidelines are adhered to. Um, and at this time, I'd also like to echo Pat and Joe's um, sentiments to Lori. Um, she's been great working with Cheryl Glowak, you know, to um, transition over um, her tenure ends in May 31st. Um, so she's been working diligently trying to get her up to speed for when she is gone. Lori, I can't thank you enough for the time that you've, uh, that you've dedicated to bring into this project. So thank you. Thank you, BJ. You're welcome. That's all I have, Bill. Thank you. Uh, finance, Joe Verducci. Uh, let's see. For finance, uh, the committee has gotten together a couple times uh, just in discussions in regards to uh, a lot of different things. Uh, my, in my, uh, my job at work, uh, I have the privilege of being able to talk to a lot of finance directors and municipalities of different things and different concerns. And Bridgeville is in the same the same uh, direction. Um, one of the things that we're looking at is what's it going to look like in July and August as far as our budgets. Um, I had uh, talked to Lori earlier today and there were a couple of concerns, but not too bad. We're actually uh, in a pretty good spot in regards to our cash flow. Um, things have gone down, real estate tax transfers. Obviously, whenever there's no uh, houses being sold, that was uh, down significantly. Uh, 44% uh, for the month. Um, as far as the uh, sales tax, the average sales tax was down 8%. Um, one thing that we are going to not be able to realize yet, but we also have to look at the earned income tax. Uh, what's it going to look at like next quarter? Uh, we feel that probably right now we're not sure on what it's going to look like. Uh, uh, right now it looks fine, but I think next, next quarter is when we're really going to I have to get an idea and a plan for the, the final five or six months of the year. So those are things that the finance committee is going to talk about. We have some ideas. Uh, interesting. Um, uh, I think I just heard a couple more tonight that, that were uh, interesting uh, uh, thoughts as well. So we've got a lot of work to do, but uh, we're in a good position right now. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate what you're putting into that and staying on top of the, uh, the finances there. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe Colosimo. Uh, thanks, Mr. Chairman. This is late this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Chartier's Park and Cook School Park are open. The water's turned on. We've had an issue down at uh, McLaughlin with uh, the water is on it somewhere, public work, trying to get that fixed up and hopefully in the next couple of days that'll be open. We're having a virtual bid opening tomorrow for a project down at the park. That's all I got. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Public Works, Nino Petroselli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, even though we uh, we in a lot done, if you want to call it that, uh, the work has been done a little different as we all do but everything gets uh, this time seems to be fine uh mr chairman uh the grass has been cut and everything else has been taken care of it uh that's all i have on that but i have a question for the engineer here maybe i missed something the bids for the road was approval, um, was open, I'm sorry. 
As come it is no uh, no comment on it, the winner, the loser, or uh, when is this going to be? Uh, the, the bids don't open until tomorrow, I believe, Nino. And uh, Pardon? the bids don't aren't open until tomorrow. Oh, they're not open yet. No, no, they're not open until tomorrow, and I'm sure the, the engineer will address that in his. Oh, report. thank you. Well, maybe I got the virus. Maybe I got my head. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. I thought the bed was open already. <laughs> well, skip that. Take it out of the record. <laughs> thank you so much. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. Uh, public safety, Bruce Gallarducci. Yes, uh, I got one thing. I'd like to entertain a motion to authorize Lori to advertise to um, for a police officer in Bridgeville. Um, the civil service needs to uh, put together a list um, that for hiring the police officer. So if I could have a motion, or I'll make the motion to do that um, at this time. So there's a motion to uh, um, authorize Lori to draw up an advertisement to um, uh, test for an open police officer's position. Do I have a second? I will second that motion, Nick. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The only thing I, other thing I have is along with everybody else is I thank you, Lori, for all the years of your service. Uh, I, I was part of hiring you back in the early 90s as a secretary, and I just thank you for what you've evolved to and your dedication to this community and to councils over the years. I just thank you. Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate that. And thank you for all your help. You're welcome. That's all I have, Bill. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, Mayor Betty Copeland. Thank you, Mr. President. We've been doing drive-bys with the fire department and the police department for birthday celebrations, anniversaries, and graduation celebrations for those in our community. I, I'm enjoying doing that. Grateful that they thought of doing this for the children. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Police Chief Chad King. Thank you, Council President. Um, obviously, first off, start off thanking Lori for her year's service with the borough. Uh, we've had the opportunity to work together for the past 11 years and have seen some uh, some unfortunately bad issues together, um, the floods and whatnot happened. Um, but congratulations on your retirement also. Thanks, Chad. Uh, you're welcome. Um, other than the, uh, the, the birthday drive-bys that the mayor had spoke of, um, we're still getting some donations of personal protection equipment uh, from some of the local businesses and some national businesses and um, also had some donors come through uh, via our Facebook page. I want to thank all of them, uh, keeping us supplied and ready to go with face masks, gloves, and hand sanitizer, cleaners, pretty much you name it. We've been able to get donations for all of that. That aside, um, the judicial emergency has also been extended through June 1st. Local courts will be closed through June 1st. So that that's not... Uh, in, sense, in terms of we don't have hearings, we don't have any activity taking place at any of the courts, be it or downtown. So um, everything will be put on hold until that, and hopefully we can get back on track after June 1st. That's all I have. Thanks, Chief. Uh, Solicitor Thanks. Tom McDermott. Uh, thank you. Uh, Council and the mayor have my written report. Um, I, I just want to let me chime in with everybody else. And echo, I guess, not so much mixed emotions as just joint emotions. I'm obviously excited as everybody with a chance to, to work with Joe Collar, a hometown fellow whose reputation certainly uh, precedes him. At the same time, I just want to express to you, Lori, my gratitude uh, to you. I've had the privilege of working with you for some six years, I believe, and through some of the toughest times through the flood times and whatnot. And to call you a colleague and and a friend that will be missed, and I just really much appreciate the chance I had to work with you. Thank, thank you, Tom. You're Same here. Thanks. 
Thanks, Tom. Uh, Borough Engineer, Kevin Brett. Uh, yes, good evening, everybody. I too wanted to want to thank Lori. Uh, it's been about a year since we've been working with the borough and uh, it has been a smooth transition working with her and Cheryl and I do thank her and uh, wish her all, all the well, all, all well wishes moving forward. Thanks, uh, Kevin. Our uh, report is dated May 5th. Um, as was indicated, the bids are due tomorrow. They, they did get moved. Uh, Sanino was actually right. We moved them because of COVID-19. Uh, we had hoped to open them about six weeks ago. Um, most of the bids in the area were moved uh, over the last about eight days. So they are due tomorrow along with the park project. Um, we did open some bids uh, fairly close to you today and the numbers were extremely good. So I think the contractors have settled into um, uh, a new norm and the, the bids are back where we think they should be. Um, so I think that's promising for tomorrow's bid. Um, so I'm, I am looking forward to opening those. Um, we also have updated the um, road plan. I'm gonna send it out in draft to uh, Lori and uh, Nino to take a look at, and then I'll try to have it finalized for the next meeting. Uh, that's your uh, long-term plan for the roads. Um, the roads are actually in pretty good shape overall. Um, there are obviously some roads that need work done to them, but um, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're in fairly good shape overall. Um, there was a number of grants that um, you did authorize for to be submitted um, that'll be pending with this round of funding. Hey, um, Kevin, can I interrupt for a second? Sure. Um, is, is there anything that you'd be able to do? I know that we have tried half a dozen, if not more, on Bank Street as a state. Any other suggestions on how we could get the, the state to, to look at possibly considering? Well, if Not I have to think correctly, uh, Lori spoke to them and uh, on the meeting, but two or three or four months ago, Lori stated, if I may quote you, Lori, that she did talk to PennDOT and that is on a schedule for this year. If so, uh, it is, uh, we should definitely contact uh, PennDOT and keep uh, them on board for for this year. Am I correct, Lori? No, Bank Street is not on the schedule for this year. Tar Chartier Street is. Okay. Can we expedite this somehow? We have to. We have to see. I contacted PennDOT regarding Bank Street, and um, their response was that they had many roadways that were in far worse conditions. So they were not considering Bank Street this year. As the time goes by, I thought it was, we did that. I'm sorry, uh, I don't want to contradict you. I thought we did that 2019. So this, you, you call them 2020. Uh -huh. you remember well that you say that PennDOT promise next year. So I was thinking next year would be this year. But uh -huh. anyway, we we'll have to push that a little harder uh, in the past. Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. Any and we, other questions for the engineer? Uh, we did hear back um, from DEP also on the uh, trash rack. They had a handful of comments. Um, we did respond to those. Um, I do expect that permit will be issued. Um, the comments were in general that um, uh, more clarifications than anything. So, um, any had one design comment. I think <laughs> they don't like trash racks, but I think the one we have um, has met all their criteria. So, <coughs> we're going to finish preparing those documents because you have the grant for that. So that as soon as we get the permit, we can stick it in and go to bid. Good. That's all we have. That's yeah. great. Thanks, Kevin. Is uh, Fire Chief Ray Costain on? I didn't see his name on there. No, I didn't see him uh, join. Okay. I had a few phone numbers, but it didn't, there was no, no Ray. Okay. Uh, Southbridge EMS, Dan Miller. I did see him on there. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm here. <laughs> um, 
last month we kind of slowed down a little bit with the COVID transports um, and overall our general uh, transports are down as well and they continue to be down. Um, we were fortunate enough to get a uh, Band-Aid into the service with the payroll um, protection program. Uh, so that will kind of give us a little bit of revenue to keep going, uh, even though we're down 40%. So um, we're kind of waiting to see what the uh, future brings when it comes to people being released back to uh, released out of their houses to go back out into the world. Um, we're hoping that it doesn't really surge and have to deal with that. So we'll see what happens. Um, other than that, everything's been pretty status quo. And we just, one thing add that, uh, Lori, it's been an honor to work with you and we appreciate all the communication and work that you did with us and uh, wish you well in the future. Thank you, Dan. <clears throat> Thanks, Dan. Um, I'd like to introduce Mike Tolmer as our, our new emergency management coordinator for the borough. Mike was, um, he'll be a point of contact during emergencies and assist the uh, borough manager, council, and our first responders in times of need. Uh, Mike recently attended some informational meetings with the county as well as with the Bridgeville uh, Disaster Preparedness Committee. Uh, Mike, do you have anything you'd like to add or, or share with the residents? Uh, yeah, just <clears throat> real quick. Uh, there was a, a webinar uh, last week that uh, both Lori and I uh, participated in. Um, and there, it's all in uh, preparation for the 2020 hazard um, mitigation plan. And uh, so they went over the, 20, the 2015 plan and then uh, we have to submit, uh, there's a couple of exercises we have to perform uh, and get information by the end of the month so they can work, get their draft for the 2020 plan. That'll be, the, the first draft will be in September. Um, so I, me and Lori talked uh, last week, uh, we're getting together this week some, uh, this week to go over what we need to submit, make sure it gets submitted in time and correctly. Uh, you know, one of the interesting uh, things on the 2015 report, you know, you know they basically rate uh, all the different um, types of disasters that we can encounter. You know, and obviously there's the ones like flood, snowstorms. Those are the ones that we, we hit a lot here in, in our region, uh, tornadoes occasionally. But really low on the list in 2015 was uh, uh, lands, landslides, sinkholes, and pandemics, which obviously they said these will be moved up in, into the, into the higher, higher risk now. Um, cause it's, it's kind of funny you know, five years ago, how things have changed. So, um, but uh, like I said, it was, uh, it was pretty interesting going over, like seeing the, the history between five years until now. So, but, um, like I said, we'll, I talked to Lori, uh, on Friday, we're going to get together this week. Uh, I just want to thank Lori, um, for helping me, you know, get every, get up to speed with everything on the emergency management side. Uh, and obviously Lori, um, thank you for, all the support and help you gave me while I was on so um, I really enjoyed working with you. So uh, congratulations on your uh, retirement and I, I hope you have a much healthier 2020. Thank you. That's all I got, Bill. Thanks, Mike, I appreciate it. Uh, is Mary Weiss on or anybody from the Historical Society? I didn't see anybody on there. Um, how about the library? Anybody from the library on? No. How about the parking authority? Anybody from the parking authority? On? How about the planning commission? Anyone want to take a stab at that? Um, Dale is here. Yeah, Dale's Bill, here. I, I'm here. Um, Thanks, Dale. We've had a had a very good meeting. Um, last month, um, we basically went through the, uh, earlier this year, we went through the um, comprehensive plan from 2005 um, and identified um, a bunch of discussion points. And, and so uh, the next meeting, we're going to continue through um, discussing some of that stuff and trying to, trying to 
identify some issues that may still be hanging out there to, to provide to the uh, borough council for uh, future planning. So, um, and I'd like to take a, take a moment to thank Lori for her support with the, with the planning commission. Um, it's been wonderful to work with her and I wish her all the best in the future. Thank you, Dale. You're welcome. That's all Thanks, I have. Thanks, Dale. Yeah, thank you. I, uh, most of the council attended that last meeting and appreciate the work that you guys are putting in. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, borough manager, Lori Collins. Um, I provided my written report for your review if anyone has any questions. Um, and I just also like to say that it's been an honor to serve the residents and all of the councils that I've gone through in the past 20 years of the borough. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, uh, it's a, a sad uh, goodbye for me. So I appreciate all of the residents and thank you to council for all of your support. Thank you, Lori, appreciate it. Uh, anything under old business? Uh, Mr. Chip, if I may, I can call that old. Uh, I probably, No, no, Lori, more than anybody else. I worked with her for so many years. A week, we made it. We met. I learned a lot from Lori. I'm going to miss her. It's been a long road together. Thank you so much, Lori. I hope you have a good retirement. And I hope you don't stay away. <laughs> I won't. I'll call and hang up on you. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. But uh, I just want Bridgeville to know that we've been working together for a long, long time. And I really appreciate it very much. I appreciate you and uh, all our things we did together for the benefit of the community. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Nina. I appreciate all your help. Anything else under old business? How about under new business? Well, I would, uh, I'd like to acknowledge, uh, this is Lori's last meeting as well as our borough manager. And, and I wanna thank you, Lori, for your years of service to Bridgeville and uh, in several capacities and been here for quite some time. And uh, we appreciate all your efforts and your commitment to our community and uh, wish you all the best of luck and health in your newest endeavors, whatever they may be, and uh, be well. Thanks. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate it very much. You're welcome. With that, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Bruce, so moved. Do I have a second? BJ, second. BJ, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion pass. Thank you, everybody.